Hello, um, welcome to yet another gas walkthrough. Um, today's puzzle is by Clover, and it is Foggy X on the Pairs. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. The grid is covered in fog, which will only disappear, revealing additional clues as you place digits in the unfogged parts of the grid. Um, it's like, they call it Fog of War from, say, uh, like Age of Empires, but... It's just, there is a cloud that will disappear the more you explore the grid, which is really cute. We at Gas HQ think that um, if, you, uh, if you are setting a puzzle, the path should be pretty obvious. You don't need to artificially restrict it, but also hopefully there's more than one way through the puzzle. So it's not necessary to restrict it in that way. Um, but, you know, we are... We are people of the people, and we're here to help. Um, the people have wanted Fog for a long time, so Clover will do it. Um, I, I'm still holding out. Uh, digits separated by an X sum to 10, digits separated by a V sum to 5. Uh, not all possible Xs or Vs are necessarily given. Now, two things uh, to my girlfriend, who may or may not be watching. Hello. Mwah. Uh, secondly, I haven't solved this one. I didn't test this one. This is a actual, honest to goodness, live solve for the first time. Um, which might be a first for us on the channel. Uh, can't wait. Um, so, with that, let's get started. Okay, so, I don't know what that is, but this is a V, which means it has to be two or three. Um, because there's no X there... Oh, hang on. Um, so this is a two and a three. Um, ah, yes, there we go. Uh, I had an absolute brain pain for a second. I thought that was a negative condition. This is why you don't want live solves. Um, because I know that that must be seven or eight, but I've got a seven. Uh, I've already got an eight in the box. This is a seven. This is a three. This is a two. Do, do, do. All right. Now, uh, this is a V, which means it can only be one, two, three, or four. Um, but this already sees one, two, three, so it's going to be four and one. Oh, look, I can put a nine there. One, nine, sum to ten. All right, so now I have uh, five. Oh, well, that's a nine. Uh, five and six uh, to go in the box. Uh, because five would need a five to sum to ten, five, uh, and that would break the rules of Sudoku, we can put a six there. Four there, one there. Um, now, ooh, this is a two or a three, uh, which means this is seven or an eight. Oh, look, it sees an eight in the colon. So this is going to do a lot of work for us. Seven, three, two, eight, two. All right. Um, this is one and four, meaning this must be six or nine. What else can we do here? Oh, we know that this has to be... Ah, there we go. Um, so, one, two, three uh, in the column, meaning it can't be one, nine, two, eight, or three, seven, making this a four, six. There is already a four, one, four pair in this box, meaning this has to be six, this has to be four, which is actually going to unwind all of my pencil marks. Nine, one, four. And then, oh... Uh, this can't be a 7 because it sees it there. 7 and 5, making this a 3. Alright, I feel like this is the point at which i got to do some actual Sudoku. Alright, hang on, what have I got? Uh, 6, 9 there, and 6, 9 there, meaning 6, 9 has to go here. Um, does that help me in any way? Oh, hang on, I'm being a little bit thick. Uh, so, one of the things with, um, uh... XV Sudoku is if something does a does form a pair in the row, meaning it sums to one and four, it and it knocks it both out because neither of uh, this cell can't be one or four. This must be two or three. Uh, we're getting both strong winds and hot weather down here in Melbourne today, so it's a little bit of a light. Two and three. Uh, that will definitely help in this box. This is a three. Oh, I'll put the seven in. Fine. Fine, I'll keep going before I do more Sudoku. Alright, um, 
this uh, this can only be a one because it says two, three, four in the column. And this is a four. This is a nine. Um, put a six there. Five, eight left to go in the box, meaning this must be two. This is three. This is five. This is eight. Hey, lovely. All right. What else have we got? Can I do anything with that? Yeah, I can. That's pretty nice. Um, so this can't be nine, uh, nine, one, two, eight, or four, six, meaning it must be three, seven. C is a seven there, so this is seven and three. Um, similarly, this is uh, this is one, nine, four, six, and three, seven. Oh, two and eight is what it must be. Um, oh, that's that's pretty nice. That's also got to be a two and an eight um, because it says one, four, nine, seven. Um, I know I'm talking a lot uh, through, through it. Uh, one of the strategies that I've picked up as a solver as I've gone on um, is learning to scan. Uh, when I learn to scan, uh, especially for something where I know what the combos are, such as adding to 10, um, I only need to scan for digits which eliminate everything, uh, like pairs. So four, six, one, nine, three, seven. Um, that's how I can do that so quickly. Eight, two, two, eight, which is lovely. Uh, this has to be one and four, but I can't do anything with that yet. Um, I'll put a three there for fun. Also, because three can't go anywhere else in the box. Um, what else have I got? Eight. Oh, I, I hope I can get this done before uh, <laughs> my students come in. Five and eight. Um, two, nine. Okay, now I'm just speeding through just to prove that I can. Um, five, four, six. Uh, this is three and five. Uh, four, seven, eight. One, six, nine. Uh, one, six. Five, seven, nine. Uh, three and six. Four, seven, eight. Uh, oh, that's a four, seven pair. Okay, that's going to do some damage here. Uh, so that's one, four. Just take some four out of there, and one out of here. Um, and that's a seven, eight pair, which takes the seven out of here. Uh, seven can't go there. Um, oh, so this is, I've got a five, nine. Uh, ah, so because I've got eight pair, and it says one, two, three, and eight, this can only be five, six, or nine, meaning this has to be a six or a nine. Which means this is a one, two. That's easy to that. One, two. Oh, and I got some more digits. A, there we go. Four, six, seven, eight. That's cheeky, Clover. That's real cheeky. Um, nine, six, one, eight, uh, five, nine, seven, three, six, five, three, five, six, and nine. 6.47. Now the real question is, am I within the two hat time? Yeah, 7.30. Lovely. Um, I'm going to wrap this up before my students come in through the door and I have to explain what's going on. If you've got any questions or I didn't explain a step, super great. Feel free to leave it in the comments. But other than that, I will see you next time. Bye for now. No, actually, I should use different catchphrase. Actually, I do like the idea of just faintly fading up a... All right, cool. I'll see you around.